Valent make great boilers, but if you've got one, especially if it's over seven or eight years old, and it's starting to show intermittent and spurious F62 errors, which is a gas valve fault, or any of the other F6 something errors, and it looks like you're heading towards needing an expensive main PCB replacement, then you need to watch this video, and I'll show you one of the possible causes and the fix. F62 and the other fault codes have got a wide range of possible causes, some of those are potentially hazardous. Needless to say, you need a qualified engineer to work on the boiler and diagnose the problem and its root cause. And just for the benefit of some viewers, let me just say, gas explodes and high voltage electronics can make you fly across the room and give you an electric shock. Both of them can kill you. Changing the capacitor is not a difficult task, but this video is aimed at suitably skilled and qualified persons. If you take a look around the web, you're going to see that F62 and F6 something faults, especially on older boilers, are frequently resolved and fixed by the replacement of the main printed circuit board. Not only is a replacement PCB expensive, it's also an environmental disaster throwing the whole PCB full of electronics into landfill, when just one or two components are probably the root cause and can easily be replaced. There are far too many of us humans on the planet, rapidly using up materials and resources and then making tons of polluting waste like there's no tomorrow. So, if we can fix the board, it's got to be a better solution all round. That's the lecture over. This boiler was showing intermittent F62 errors and was rapidly heading towards having a new expensive PCB fitted. OK, this is a good indication of a faulty PCB. You can see the hot water demands come on. The flame icon comes on, the boiler's fired up, and the temperature's rising up. You can see the temperature slowly rising. 62, 63, 64, 65 degrees C, 66, and then suddenly 58 degrees C, and then back to 67 you get these spurious jumps in temperature and that's a good indication that there's noise in the PCB, there's supply rail problems and it can't read signals correct. OK, so it's all isolated and powered off and you leave it powered off for quite some time because this capacitor charges up. But um, I've removed this capacitor here and it looks like it's on the output of a switching um, power supply and it's just on the input side of this 5 volt regulator here and obviously the 5 volts powers the microprocessor and that's responsible for all the analog conversions and things so just looking around for noise in there and I've just removed this capacitor here which is actually C5 on the board um, and that is a 470 microfarad okay so taking this capacitor out of the valent if I measure the capacitance of this Three hundred and thirty, three hundred and forty microfarads. Well, this is a four seventy microfarad, so that seems very low. And I've just taken these four seventy microfarads out of this old spare power supply board. So just to show you, the meter is okay. If I measure these, it takes a couple of seconds to measure it, but this one measures four seventy six microfarads. And then this one, measures 471 microfarads. So for 470 microfarads, they're pretty good. You go back to the one out of the boiler. This is in the a 5 volt regulator input. And this is coming from a switching regulator. So, oops, if I connect that. Three hundred and fifty microfarads, so it's more than a hundred microfarads low. Uh, so we'll change that. Okay, so this capacitor here is C nine, which I've just removed, and if I measure it, it's coming out about four thirty microfarads. Now that's quite low. This is a four seventy microfarad capacitor, but they do have quite a wide tolerance. It's believable, but it's low. It's not four seventy microfarads. So that's C nine. This one is C5, which I did measure a moment ago. But if I measure it again, C5 should be 470, and it's 350 something, 360, 330. 
is quite low. There is something wrong with that capacitor. That is C5. And you just compare that to these ones, which I'm going to replace it with. If you put these in, these are actually extracted from an old power supply. Right, if I measure these, should be 470 microfarads, and they measure 477, or this one, 476. So, face value, this capacitor C5 is definitely reading low, so I'm going to swap that out and put these in, and then we'll see if the F62 fault disappears. Okay, yeah, so we cleaned up the board, used a bit of flux to um, clean up the solder and the solder sucker, and new capacitors fitted. C5 have actually uprated to a 1000 microfarad, 35 volts. Um, that's the one that failed. This one was also a bit low, so now this is 470 and 1000 microfarads. Put it all back together, let's see what happens. Yeah, the board's loose and there's some clips around the edge. You just push those out the way and carefully lift the board up. Um, pull this edge away, there's some clips here. But you unclip those and the board comes out. When you put it all back together, just make sure you push all this back down. Um, and these uh, cable gland bits here, just so it's all nicely sealed. Anyway, board's back in. Um, new capacitor's fitted. Now we've just got to clip the cover on, make sure all the clips are clipped on around the edge to keep it watertight. Yeah, and the cover, you just clip, make sure the cover's clipped back on all the way around, it's nice and tight, all these are done up. And then that basically swings back um, to get the boiler intact. Okay, so you can see there the heating's on. Temperature, the flow temperature looks pretty damn stable. So it's noticeably different to what it was like before. Fingers crossed this uh, could solve our F62 problem. The F62 fault didn't happen every day, it was intermittent. You could see the, re if you sat here long enough, you could always see the readings jumping around though. So that was sort of an indication which other people have suggested um, says it's a board PCB problem. There can be other problems that cause F62, the gas flow valve, and obviously that's a serious thing to start messing around with. But hopefully this fixes it. 200 pounds ago this is a, a good fix if it stops the board being swapped out there's a lot of comments online about the valent ecotech plus boards being replaced at a high frequency so um, and it was always the or one of the top things for the f62 fault is change the pcb maybe these capacitors are the root cause of that